So did I register from one of your emails that you're moving today? Yeah, again. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that's exciting. Always nice to uh, see new places. Yeah, actually, it's it's very nice the new place we're going. Good, because it's my room is is not as as warm as here. Uh -huh. Better for me. <laughs> uh, good. <laughs> I'm very cold. Mm. Hey, Jacob. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning. Can you hear me? Um, so uh, I'm hoping uh, Nick will join and David will join. Um, yeah, I have a message from David. He is uh, off in the wilderness camping at Boy Scout oh, uh, oh, camp. Okay. So it's not going to be able to jump. Okay. So Brent, maybe we can record this so David could hear it and maybe if Nick mix misses today. So Brent, can you record? Great. Okay. Okay, great. Um, Jacob, before we start, could I just share my desktop real quick? I just want to show everyone a sort of graphic. Um, uh, a scratch program that has some graphics in it. And I'm hoping we can sort of lay the foundation in the browser-based game that you're creating okay. for adding graphics that uh, sort of approach this. Okay. So let's see if I can find um, whether it's in... Hmm, I thought I had it well launched. Smart on Scratch, here it is. Hey, can you all see my screen? I assume everyone can see this. Um, yeah. So when we hit the space bar, oops, I had to hit the flag to go. When we hit the space <laughs> bar, so there's a sort of intro screen or trailer screen that explains how the game works. And um, uh, then there's question number one, and we'll put just B, I don't know. <laughs> and then question number two, one eighth minus one half, one eighth, I don't know. Let's get this one wrong, C. <laughs> oh, got it right. How did I get that right? Oh, that's right. Okay. Let's get this one wrong. Good is a verb. A. <laughs> so, so I just wanted to um, say that we would be nice to lay the foundation so that we can add a sort of storyline behind the trivia question game. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm gonna stop yeah. sharing my screen. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Yeah, John, yeah okay. we can hear you. Okay, great. So that's all. Um, Jacob, I'll pass the ball to you and, and uh, you can take okay. it away. Um, be nice to um, get Daniel's input first, maybe on if you've had a chance to um, anything to your trivia game engine. Yeah, I made some changes. Okay. A little before Jacob starts, would you like to just explain how you're you're thinking? Yeah, of course. Okay. Sorry, Jacob. Just want to. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, Daniel, you got the ball. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, we liked so much what we saw of your program last week, Daniel, that we. Uh, um, you know, we thought we use it as a template. 
Yeah, I saw the the recording on YouTube. Good. Thank you for for that video also You're because welcome. it's yeah. good. it was very you know good to know what things to change. Good. And that and well for the design I didn't you know uh, add more. I only changed one thing. You, when you have uh -huh. a, a question right, you have this color change here. Uh -huh. change oh. this green, and when you have it wrong, it changes to red. That's that's great. Yeah, that's uh, some good feedback as to whether or not you. Uh, have wrong or right. Yeah. right or wrong. Yep. Good. Immediate feedback. Excellent. And then, then I I made a, a little code. So you remember that the questions uh, sometimes repeated them, themselves. Yes. yes. So now it doesn't happen. Because you only had three questions. Yeah. Oh. So you, it's still random, but uh, you you keep track of which questions were asked and don't ask them again. Yeah, exactly. There are a little, very little questions. There are only four. I changed the way you you get the questions, so now they are in the in a, in a database, and everyone. You can get here in other options, create a question, and here's this page where you can actually make your own question, send it, and it will be added to the to the game. Wow. A uh, control panel or dashboard that allows you to manage um, manage the whole trivia game. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic, Daniel. Yeah, cool. This is like, well, I don't have to get in the code to make a new question now. I can only type it here. Yeah. So you can type like topic cars. And then, I don't know, uh, is I don't know if it is typed like that, but I think it is. And you see, like, uh, uh, what is that? Um, so you, you put your answers a very fast car, uh, I don't know, uh, a plane. Uh, sweet, sweet. And if you try to send it like that, you have this little message. We fill all the required elements because you haven't choose the right answer. And also, if you leave one space, one of these spaces in like empty, you have the same error. So you have to fill all of them. And here you can choose the answer from the first one to the second or the third. And you have this color changing button, you can see what you're choosing, and then you send it, you have this request, you say thank you, and then everything is erased, huh? and we get back to the wow. game, and we should see the question added to the, to the actual game, so is uh, wow, that's pretty nice. And you can see that if I choose the wrong answer, it's wrong because I, I choose that the right answer will be the first one. So you click the first one and it's right. So, right. 
I'm more in, intuitive. I, I don't know. How to say that. This is terrific, Daniel. I mean, um, really, really sweet. Thanks. So, Jacob, um, where do you well, propose so we this, go? Yeah, from this is here? awesome. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming that, um, behind the scenes here, Daniel, this is, uh, using bootstrap and, um, yeah. and just native CSS. Um, and since the theme, sort of the theme of our, um, the theme of our webcast series here is using, uh, using less, uh, to extend yeah. the, the CSS, um, I think, a, a a cool next step would be uh, uh, would be making sort of making little making some little changes to the style um, here using uh, using less. And I think it does look good, um, but we'll make just a couple. Um, you know, we'll make a couple changes. We can. Uh, um, I think like we discussed last week, we'll make a sort of a two-column layout for the answers when you're on a large screen. Um, and then we can, you know, we can have places in there where you would, uh, you know, you would put in different colors or different graphics or so forth. Um, like, uh, you know, for, for our, our final product. Um, this is great. Um, um, great. Uh, Jacob, did we want to uh, help Isla get her machines, uh, all the development tools loaded on her machine? Yeah. So, so that's so actually a couple things, a couple things of setup that we might want to do first. Uh, first of all, Daniel, have you used GitHub before? Are you familiar with that tool? I, I have heard of it, but I haven't used it. Okay. So. Um, but Daniel has used Fabricator. Okay. Um, so why don't we get um, why don't we do two things? Why don't we get Isla set up with a a, a uh, with a good development environment, and let's get Daniel set up um, with GitHub, if you don't mind, Daniel. Yes. Um, and then we can uh, uh, we can get. Uh, just uh, for the recording, uh, um, Jacob, uh, uh, GitHub is a, uh, a code management environment so that several several programmers can work, work on the same code, and it flags um, uh, conf. It's, well, it's it's yeah, it's version control. Um, that sort of collaboration for for people in different places. I guess you'd say it's. Uh, uh, um, it it's a web interface, so a uh, to help. Especially for for beginners, uh, you know, a whole lot of experience uh, with to do list. I've used other version control tools. Uh, it's, it's a very very easy to do, uh, which is nice. Um, so just the free purposes. Um, the way it works is if you uh, if you want to have a uh, a private um, a private project that no one else can see uh, f for that privilege. If you're just making uh, kind of publicly available projects, um, then that's uh, there's there's no charge for that. Um, and then, so so. If, uh, If, so, Daniel, if you would go ahead and, and uh, look into making a GitHub repository for our project, that would be awesome. Um, for Isla, 
Um, Isla, so Isla, have you um, uh, have you had a chance to look at uh, this thing called Text Wrangler before, or at other uh, text editors? I guess I should check in since it's been a week um, since we. Okay. I don't think so. I actually looked at much. I mean, I was trying to like because I wanted to like do stuff with it, but like my computer is just like not doesn't work. A little bit. Uh, uh, um, uh, this. Uh, I know. I think David uses this, um, and and seems to work pretty well. Um, in that, uh, so that link I just put in the chat. Um, you know, part of the way, part of the way down the page, there's a there's a link to uh, to download it. And this is a free, um, this is a free program. There's a, they have sort of a, a more expensive, um, more expensive version of the program. Uh, it has a different name uh, that that costs more, but I don't think you know it doesn't really do anything that we're worried about. Mm -hmm. And there I have it. Okay. Oh, I have it. It's open. Okay. Um, I uh, 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 do you mind if I pass you the ball really quick, just so we can see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so there, um, so supposedly this had this should have, have uh, um, It should have uh, syntax, what we call syntax uh, coloring for um, HTML and JavaScript um, and uh, probably CSS as well. I don't see that on the list um, here that I'm looking at. Um, so if we uh, uh, say if we if we write some just some HTML code in here, copy it over from a from another file. Um, do you have anything handy, or else I can, yeah. I can try pasting something in the chat box? Okay. I'm gonna have from um, maybe not. Wait, I feel like I had. Well, I have like an old code. Or do you want to send me the? Um, well, that, that's fine. Uh, let's just, uh, you know, let's just, uh, um, it doesn't, doesn't matter how. Okay. Oh. I think I have like... um, let's see how everything works here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Do you use this one? Sure. And can we open with, uh, with text wrangler? That would be awesome. It's taken a while to, uh... <laughs> There we go. Okay. Yep. I see you also have sublime text there, and that would that would work too. Mm hmm Um do not oh. I did move this guy there. Yep. Okay. Um, let's see, did it, uh, did it open somewhere? Um, I'll try again, because it's... Yeah. Let me see if I can do this. I'll open it with this. Not good idea. Okay. Okay. 
I can probably just do the practice Great. from here. Okay. I use that. Yeah, cool. And uh, so what we'll notice looking at this is that uh, where you have uh, like HTML elements like the tags, um, and you can see where it says where it has you know bracket and then the word head and then the close bracket. Um, and you can see that's all in blue. Um, then where you have uh, attributes that are within that are in quotation marks, uh, you can see that's colored red. Um, and when you have just plain text um, that's that's in inside the uh, inside the brackets, that's in black. Yeah. And you see that already would have uh, would have helped us with the situation we had uh, last week, um, where we were we were missing a quotation mark or had the um, or, you know had had I think some had like a like a single quote or a, or a back tick instead of a quotation mark um, somewhere. Um, the syntax highlighting would have helped us catch that mm -hmm. um, because it would have um, you know the colors would have been off. And so that's uh, so just just that alone is a is a really helpful thing. Um, and I'm not too familiar with Text Wrangler as far as the other, um, uh, some of the other features it has. Um, but uh, you know, if you're interested on uh, on your own time, you can can explore some of the some of the cool tricks that it uh, um, that it has. So that's awesome, great. Um, Daniel, uh, have you uh, had any success getting GitHub set up? Yeah, well, it, it asked me for an for a, an email, so that it's called the bilingual email. It says the receipts will be sent here, and I I didn't know if it was my uh, email. Well, yeah, it should be should be should be free. So if you're, it shouldn't you shouldn't need to uh, um shouldn't need to enter any payment or billing information. Um, no. It's it's all. It's not asking me for for. Well, it says uh, it has different plans, and I'm choosing the open source. Yeah, yeah. But it uh, it's it's asking me for this bilingual email. Um. And I'm I'm creating a BIY trivia email so that that one that everyone can know the password. I don't know if it's. Um, let's see. Uh, could you could you make it uh, BIY support maybe? Support. Or this can be or then or this can just be your personal um, account. That's okay too if you want. Yeah. Um, okay. I actually think all of us should. Uh, all of us should have GitHub accounts if we don't already. Yeah, because it's it's going to ask me to invite the team members. Yep. Well, um, if it's a public, if it's like a free publicly available repository, we can just sort of we can just sort of find it. Um, it shouldn't okay. necessarily need you to invite us, um, although you will need to give us a kind of a link to the. Um, to the project so we can find it. Well, it's, it's done, I think. Okay. So, um, anyone, do, do you have a username? Yes, I do. Uh, let me f figure out what it is really quick. <laughs> um, let's see, I think I, I think I know my username. I use it, I, I unfortunately, I don't use it often. Okay. Um, and in fact, while we're while we're doing this, maybe Isla, Isla, do you have a GitHub account already? No, I can make one. Okay. Yeah. Let's all just make a free GitHub account so we can use this. Um, uh, let's see. So Daniel, my um, I'll, I'll put my username in the chat box here.
Good. Oh, we're, we're still we're still watching Isla's uh, screen. <laughs> Isla, you, you feel free to to stop sharing your screen if you want. Although it's okay, I suppose it's okay if you do have your screen shared. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sure yours you can, but I don't mind. It's not a big deal. Um. Okay. So actually, uh, this is good. We can see Isla's username right there. Um, oh, okay. Uh. I'm just going to put that uh, in the chat box so we remember it. Get that? Did I spell that right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, did you hit the invitation, Jacob? Oh, um. I don't know if I did it right. Let me uh, let me check my email because it might have. Onto my email. Aha! Um, I did get the invitation by email. Okay, cool. Made a what do they call it? An organization? A team? We made a team. Actually, John and Brent, you guys should uh, we should get you guys to join our team too. Yay. I, I made a repository. It's called DIY slash no slash no. Uh, line <laughs> trivia. Okay. I don't uh, is it part of our is it part of the, our 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 team. Um, I don't. Uh, first of all, did did we get Isla invited to our to our team? Yeah. yeah okay. Do I find it in my email, or where would I find it? I I found it in my email. Okay. Um, there may be somewhere to see it on GitHub as well, but I just I found it on my email. Oh. Not there. Um, it might be somewhere like actually on GitHub. Um, if you click your like your username, um, I wonder what uh, would uh, come up here somewhere. Public activity? No. Yeah, I don't really see anything. Odd. Are you sure that was the Are you sure that was the email that uh, email address that you used to set up your GitHub account? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, um. So I'm going to try to invite you one more time. Okay. Okay, what it says, oh, um, they can also visit this page to accept the invitation. So why don't we do that? Uh, so Isla, it says you should be able to click on that link to, I put it in the chat box, to uh, accept the invitation. Oh, okay, and then there's a view invitation there. Join it? Yeah. All right, and we've got all three of us. Perfect. With, with Brent, uh, Brent on the way. Okay, cool. Um, so, Daniel, you said you had made a, a repository um, for our trivia game? Yeah. Oh, uh, there it's it's already. Uh, um, it's already up there. Let me. Uh, All 
Uh, let me see if I can find it here just a second. Okay, BIY dash trivia. Okay. All right, I'm cloning it to my desktop here. Give me just a. Okay, I think. Oh. Um, okay, so are there any? Do we not have any? Uh, we just have a, a repository there. We don't have any code files up there yet. Um, Oh, I see. Okay. Um, so, um, so Daniel, um, do you have your, um, uh, do you have your code for the um, for the trivia game that you're putting into the repository um, is it is it clear how to how to do that mm. oh, how to put the code there right right no I, I don't I don't I, no I don't think I okay um, what I uh, the easiest way on the bottom of the page it says import code. Yeah, and, and one of the, yeah, so that's, um, that's, uh, that's one option, um, from a, that's, I guess, from another repository. Um, another thing you can do is, is, uh, uh, click that green button that says set up in desktop. Or should I press it too? Um, yeah, actually, go ahead. Um, and hopefully that will walk you through installing the desktop. I would try to do this same thing. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. This is uh, this is good stuff to know how to use. I know we're not really getting to the getting to the actual development work. Um, it's taking us a while to get to the actual development work. This is this is good stuff to know how to do and uh, and to have set up. This will help us. Uh, um, these are good tools that'll that'll help us out moving forward. Um, while you guys are getting that set up, I can go ahead and share um, share my desktop to show. Okay. Uh, kind of show off. Um, take the ball back here. Okay. So, actually, I want to go ahead and delete this first of all. Okay. So, so what I um, 
That's what I did. I actually have a couple other um, build-it-yourself projects from past webcasts on here. Um, here's BIY Trivia. Um, and so I, I after installing um, the GitHub desktop uh, program, um, and then I, I clicked the, uh, the green setup and desktop um, button uh, right there. Um, and that, uh, that brought up our repository here in my list of repositories. Um, and this is, the, this is the GitHub desktop program um, that you guys are installing. And uh, it gave me the. It asked me where I wanted to uh, where I wanted to clone this repository, and I gave it a, a particular folder. Um, and here's my um, here's my folder. And right now it's empty. There's no code in there. Um, and we'll be able to see. Um, that when I when I add like a text file or any other sort of file, I can add any, you know, anything in here and it will show up um, here in, uh, you know, GitHub will show me uh, what I added and what I changed um, in this folder. And then um, if I, if I wanted to, um, you know, push those changes up onto the, uh, the repository on GitHub so that you guys could see them, um, then I could I could type in a description of what I did here, and then I would click commit. And I won't do that just yet um, because I'll wait till we have actual code to uh, um, to upload. Um, so um, so Daniel are, are and Isla, are you to the point where you have this installed? Well, mine is in 60, 63% right now. Okay, great, great. So it's on the way. That's perfect. Yeah. Um, so while um, while that is is on its way, um, let's take a few minutes to talk about. Um, Using Bootstrap with um, with uh, well, let's let's see. Um, okay, so let's let's talk a little bit about. Um, About our style. Now, this is a little bit outdated because Daniel made some some cool additions uh, to his code. Um, this is sort of what we were looking at last week, and let's continue down sort of the path we were on last week, where we were sort of changing the layout of the answers here. Not that not that the I mean the existing layout was was fine. We're just doing this sort of as an exercise. Um, so we we added a fourth answer, and our thought was, well, can we get a sort of a two column layout? Um, and uh, and so some of the code here obviously this doesn't look perfect just yet, um, but we started adding some Bootstrap uh, column layout classes. Um, six column. Actually, this is um, we can go ahead and get rid of of these since that's not really doing. Anything, but we added this uh, this col sm6 that makes it six out of twelve columns, so that takes up half of the uh, of the available space. Um, and you can see if we were to um, if we were to look at this, we have a containing uh, containing div here that's taking up half the available space. Obviously, our answers aren't um, centered and aren't taking up as much um, as much of that space. Um, but what we can do is, um, you know, we can say, hey, this is, uh, I can give this a class answers. Um, and we might even say BIY answers to make it particular to our, um, our app. 
And um, then I think my CSS right now is just site.css, and here's that file. There's nothing in it yet. Um, and we might say that answers has a particular width. Um, and fresh, and uh, let's see. Oh, of, <laughs> of course, I made it PIY dash answers. Okay, and uh, and then uh, starting to look a little bit better. Uh, why don't we um, there may be a sort of a more bootstrapish way to uh, to center um, BIY and center this, but we'll go ahead and for now let's just. Uh, Let's try that. Um, and the answers are a little small. So what if we said um, BIY answers input 100%. OK. Um, So now, in fact, we may want to um, want to make this a little bigger since we could have longer answers. There we go. Okay. Um, so this is starting to look uh, um, starting to look a little more like kind of what we had in mind. Um, we might put a little bit of space in between these, and we can do that. Um, you know, I think I may want to add, well, I definitely, at least in the long run, will want to add classes to um, to the, or actually, well, okay, this will work for now. Give the, each of these a class, and then let's say answer. And let's see, what did I? Um, what I want to do here? I think I wanted to do margin bottom, and see if that maybe gave these a little bit of space. Okay, cool. Um, so that's, uh, so you can see that's how, how our, our column layout, um, the way, way the, that's the main takeaway here, aside from doing those little details just to make it look uh, a little bit better, um, is the way we're accomplishing this column layout. And we're saying, uh, we're doing this, this col-sm-6. And we're saying uh, that means for a, for a small screen or anything larger than a small screen, um, make it six columns. Um, and then for for a, if it, if we go um, smaller than um, a certain point, this is the extra small screen, and then it'll just stack. Um, it'll take up all twelve columns instead of just six out of twelve. And uh, Let's say for large screens, just for, I don't think we'll keep this, but just, just to see how it works, what if we gave each of them three columns? And so now they're picking up. Um, they're each taking up a fourth.
uh, we'll see how we can use less um, and uh, and easier to to maintain. Because as as you'll, I mean, it's already already kind of starting just with two of these um, classes. Well, we've got, actually got three different classes on each of these right now. Um, but especially if you if you want to have different column layouts for for different screen sizes, and there's there's you know four different screen sizes. Um, you know, this can get to be um, a whole lot of, of little CSS classes, um, and so we can make this much better uh, using, using less. Uh, what's, our, what's our progress on getting uh, GitHub uh, installed on your guys' machines? Mine, it's done, and okay. if you want, I can, I can upload the, the, the file that the, you know? Yeah. I, uh, would you have it on your screen while you're doing it? Oh, yeah. Well, just let me change the data. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, very good, very good. Um, yeah, do uh, you change those? What? Uh, so uh, a, a, th a note about um, sort of passwords and usernames and so forth uh, when you have a public GitHub repository. Um, one, of the, one of the approaches you can take um, is uh, just making a, um, making a dummy file um, in the GitHub repository that um, that just has um, you know, it just has fake values, you know, obviously fake values, you know, password equals password yeah. or whatever. Um, so that whoever downloads the repository has to change the in their own machine. Are you using like MySQL? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, it's, um, it's done and okay. the username is username and the password is password, so Great. there will be yeah. no problem. The other, um, the other, See if I can just refresh this to see it. Uh, okay, it's just not showing up uh, just yet. Oh, do, have you committed the changes? Uh, no. Okay. No, but I see a big screen. Maybe you could. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. We we're gonna we we're gonna share your screen. My mistake. Okay. Um, another another approach is so to is have a yeah, great. Um, so I think what uh, um, whenever you commit changes, you always want to give it a description. Um, and I think for the for the first thing, you could say something on something like initial check in or something like that. Um, uh, initial with a T I N I T. Sorry, English is. Um, like initial check in. Um, or, or commit or initial commit. I, I should say commit in GitHub language. It's commit. In some other tools, it's a <laughs> some other tools. It's a yeah. check in. Um, okay. Yeah. And now you can. Uh, so since so, there's since there's okay. database stuff involved, uh, which is cool. Um, since there's database stuff involved, we will have to. Uh, in order to really run it on our own machines, we'll have to. Um, you know, get uh, get MySQL set up on all our machines, which is okay. That's not that's not a hard thing to do. Um, we may need we may need to make yeah. sure everyone gets a WAMP or MAMP set up uh, next week. That's fine. Um, so now, if you you can you should be able to click commit. Um, commit to master. Uh, yeah, we don't have any branches yet, so we'll just we'll just do it for master now. I think for this project, we'll always just commit to master. I don't think we need to get into branching. Um, okay. You know, sometimes sometimes you might have you know multiple versions of your of your project going at once, and that's what you use branching for. Um, but for our, for, we'll we'll just use the master. Okay, so um, it does say unsynced changes. So I wonder if that's 
just going to sync on its own. Um, uh, is there something uh, something you'll have to click in order to get it to sync? Uh, let's see. Uh, do you see? Um, is there is there a uh, prompt there to uh, to sync? Oh, here it is. Oh, it says po okay. Um, oh, what what happens when you uh, what happens when you hit that? Actually, not. Uh, yeah, I really thought there was an option to. Uh, The button that, that actually just said sync. Is that is that doing anything? Oh, oh, oh. It only changed your battery, but I don't really see any. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then now it says now it says. I think uh, yeah. Oh, now and I think it, yeah, it looks like it should be there. Yep, now it's there. Great. Um, so yeah. if we, um, I'll put this link in the chat box for the rest of us. And uh, so if you if you visit that link, um, you can actually go on there, and we can see. Um, you can see all of uh, Daniel's code there, and what we can start uh, what we can start doing now in the future. We're we're up to uh, we're about out of out of time now. Um, yeah, look at that! Isn't that cool? Um, it's awesome. Yeah, what we'll uh, what we'll be able to do, um, you know, starting next week, now that we all have this set up, um, is we can uh, we can each make um, make edits. Um, on our own machines, and then uh, we'll make what's called a pull request um, to uh, um, to make changes to the actual uh, repository. Um, so that way, our our change, you know, we can each make changes on our own machine, and it's very easy for everyone to keep their own copy of the code updated uh, because GitHub will manage that for us. Um, in fact, um, let's see. Um, So I should, I th um, I figure out what, uh, oops. Um, Okay, give me just a second here to um, get this. Actually, I'm going to share my desktop really quick. This will be the last thing we do today, um, just to show off um, how I can now get Daniel's code. Um, okay, so I'm. Um, let me share my screen. Okay. So so here I am on uh, on GitHub. I'm on the page with our repository. 
Um, if I just wanted the code, I could actually just download a zip file um, with our code, which would be cool. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hit clone in desktop. And remember my choice there. Okay. And now I'm going to have to pick a folder um, to put this in. And now here it is. And if I look actually in my file system on my computer, and I open that folder that I picked out, I have uh, Daniel's code here. And that's cool. Oops, I actually just opened that in uh, Chrome. Why don't I open that with, uh, well, whatever. Uh, so here it is, and I can try to make a change to that. I'm not going to commit anything right now. Um, but, uh, you know, I can just make a, I'll just make a nonsense change, you know, for now just to demonstrate. Because once I've changed that file, um, I can see there it shows me which file that I've changed and I've added stuff to. Um, you can see the, the changes. You can see green is where I added stuff. If I deleted stuff, it would come up as red. Um, and that's, uh, that's how that works. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and undo. Jacob, uh, may I add a few comments yeah. here just for the benefit of the recording? Uh, so GitHub, it, it, you know, you could do similar things. But uh, uh, GitHub keeps good records of the changes that are made. Yes, and that's the key um, thing. Yeah, Google Google Docs and Dropbox, um, you know, do allow you well allow you to share files. Um, but GitHub is a is version control, yeah. uh, meaning that there's a full history of the project. Um, there are mechanisms to sort of resolve conflicts if two people um, try to upload competing, try to save competing code. Um, it's uh, it's kind of it's built to to very easily keep all keep your copy of the code updated. Um, you know, Dropbox and, and Google Docs, you kind of you know it's it's uh, uh, you kind of have to download the file and then you know, and so on and so forth. Um, if you want to have local copies, I guess. Um, so, uh, yeah, and, and this uh, this really helps you track your your changes too, um, you know, in ways that that Google Docs and, and Dropbox wouldn't. Great. Um, and, 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 and keeps I, those old copies of the code too. A lot of the reason why we use version control, especially at, at uh, um, you know, like at my job, we use version control, um, and a big part of the reason. Um, is that uh, you know sometimes we'll have to you know for whatever reason we'll need to go back and see what the code was like you know two months ago um, you know maybe maybe we made some changes and those changes you know we didn't realize accidentally you know broke something or, or did something bad and so we have to really quick like okay let's let's revert um, you know, let's revert this this website or this program to the way it was, you know, two weeks ago when it was working, um, and so we can use version control to do that, and also Great. and also to see exactly what was changed to track our changes. Th thank you, Jacob. And I might add a couple of comments that I understood from when you so when you uh, uh, working with Twitter, uh, Facebook, and Google, he recommends a fabricator and all of the uh, developers that are working on Invention Universe are using Fabricator. I understand from when you that Fabricator is a little harder to install, uh, mm -hmm. but it has a much simpler user interface and it has a more rigorous way of uh, checking code before it's committed. So um, when you recommends that for Invention Universe we standardize on using Fabricator instead of GitHub. Okay. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe we can get used to the kind of the easier thing to use GitHub first, and then right. Uh, right. Um, at at some point they can they can transition to to another tool. There are there are a bunch of different tools uh, for version control. Um, yeah. You know, GitHub Git. Um, you know, GitHub is named after after program just that's just called Git G I T Git, um, which is notoriously confusing for for beginner pickup. Mm-hmm. Um, there's uh, there's uh, see team foundation server if you're working with uh, you know Windows technologies that's that's kind of particular just to uh, um, to uh, Microsoft you know technologies like C sharp and and uh, um, the .NET uh, world um, there's uh, uh, Subversion um, I think is is one that I've used in the past too so there there are a bunch of different um, version control. I'm still sharing but my screen. The fact that uh, Isla and Daniel, you have experience using these uh, file sharing uh, tools, uh, that will surely serve you well when you um, you know apply for jobs and and um, <clears throat> they will sort of verify your professional approach to code development in a team environment. So Jacob, thank you. Brent, thanks for recording. Isla and Daniel, thank you both.